a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. This tutorial demonstrates how to display movie data in Oracle Apex cards through REST data sources. The tutorial utilizes the Movie Database API, TMDB, as an example of a REST data source. The content of this page showcases movie posters, serving as the media background for cards regions. Additionally, each card features the same movie poster image as its icon, creating an overlay effect. Now let's get started. First, you have to create an Amazon Web Services AWS account to obtain an endpoint URL along with an API key. To obtain it, you can watch the video provided in the info card. Only after that, we will be able to proceed in this video further. Next, go to Shared Components, followed by REST Data Sources option, under the Data Source option. And create a REST Data Source from Scratch option. Use simple HTTP for uncomplicated HTTP data feeds. Selecting this option, the assumption is that all data is retrieved in the initial request, and the server does not offer support for server-side filtering, ordering, or other advanced features of REST services. It is necessary to manually configure all invocation details and parameters. Provide a name for the REST data source. Enter the endpoint URL, obtained during the creation of your AWS account. An endpoint URL serves as the access point for a specific service or resource on the internet or within a network. These endpoints are usually specified by the API provider and enable clients, such as web applications, mobile apps, or other services, to engage with the API, making requests, or transmitting data. The selected remote server, refers to the API provided by the movie database, TMDB, to access information about movies and TV shows. The TMDB API offers a wide range of endpoints for retrieving various types of data, including movie details, TV show details, cast and crew information, reviews, images, and trailers. This allows us to integrate TMDB data, into our Apex applications. This base URL is the starting point for all API requests to the TMDB lists API. It is used to specify the version of the API and the type of resource that is being requested. In the current scenario, this base URL tells the API that the developer wants to retrieve a list of popular movies. The service URL path is the part of the URL that comes after the application's base URL and includes the necessary information to identify the target resource or service within an application. By using a service URL path prefix, Apex developers can ensure that their applications are accessible at a specific URL, and avoid conflicts with other applications that may be deployed behind the same web server. This also helps to improve the security and manageability of Apex applications. Choose the stored credentials for authentication. Click the button named Advanced, to add the following parameters. URL Query String option, adds parameter name and value to the URL, as the query string. Enter the API key, which you get after creating a WS account. An API key is a unique identifier or token that allows external applications or services to access specific functionalities or resources, within an Apex application. It provides a way for external systems to interact with an Apex application's data, or perform specific operations without requiring user authentication or login. Static option, determine whether the parameter can be overridden by any Apex component or not. This attribute can only be changed as long as the REST source is not being used by other components.
The GET HTTP method is used to fetch data from the REST service. GET is supposed to be idempotent, its invocation does not change anything at the server side. For this reason, GET requests can be typically be cached or called multiple times. GET requests do also not have a request body in normal cases. If everything goes perfect, as we click the Discover button, the next screen which we will see, will be displaying the movie's data, without any error messages. To complete the process, click the button Create REST Data Source. Edit the existing REST Source operation. and select how the Apex engine can cache REST source responses on the server side. In disabled option, the content is not cached and fetched from the REST source for each request. Selecting for all users option, content is cached and utilized by all users. Specify when cached content is to be invalidated. Provide the amount in minutes. Pass ECID, indicates whether to pass the execution context ID, with a request header named ECID context, to the external web services for end-to-end -end tracing. When pass ECID is enabled, the ECID is passed to all external web services called by the Apex application. This allows us to track user activity across multiple systems and applications. Now, let's create a card type page. Selecting the location of the data to REST source option, the data is sourced from a RESTful web service defined using REST data sources. The grid cards layout, by default provides an auto grid column layout, in which cards will have an initial width and will automatically wrap to a new row, when they can no longer fit comfortably. Selecting any specific column, displays the selected column in that particular section. That's why we selected the overview column, to display a small description of the movies in the body section. After creating the cards page, select the cards region, to set the following properties. Style A is one of the built-in themes in Oracle Apex. It provides a clean and modern design with a focus on simplicity and usability. This style often includes a responsive layout, making your application look good on various devices and screen sizes. Style A is suitable for applications where a simple and uncluttered interface is desired. Regions on the page with the Region Display Selector switch enabled will be visible. To incorporate a region into the Region Display Selector, toggle the switch, to the On position. For the Cards Subtitle section, we want to display the release date of the movies. Under the body section, comes the secondary body area, for which we have selected the media type column to be displayed. In the current scenario, the media type column is movies. Icon source selected as image URL, allows you to specify a URL as the source for an image icon. 
This setting is commonly used for displaying icons in page regions and other components. When this setting is enabled, the image URL is used directly to display the icon, rather than using a predefined icon from the Apex theme. The icon source selected as image URL, is particularly useful when you need to display custom icons or the icons from the external sources. This property can also be used to display company logos, social media icons, or custom images that are not provided by the Apex theme. This is the base URL for images served by the movie database, TMDB. TMDB is a popular online database of movies and TV shows. The variable poster path, is a placeholder for an actual movie or TV show poster path. In a complete URL, TMDB would replace this placeholder with the specified poster path for the movie or TV show we are interested in. Icon Position, determines the position of the icon in the card header. Selecting Top, displays the icon at the top of the header. The notation provided in the icon description is a special type of expression in Oracle Apex called, an attribute substitution variable. Attribute substitution variables allows us to insert dynamic values into text strings. In this case, the ampersand title, variable is being used to retrieve the value of the page title attribute. In the batch column, the column is to be used as a batch. Selecting the batch column to vote average, displays the number of average votes the movie got. The batch label describes the batch value. For example, to display the movie ratings, if the batch column is the rating column, the batch label are the stars. Media source type, as image URL, allows us to specify a URL as the source for an image or media file. This setting is commonly used for displaying images in page regions, cards, and other components. When this setting is enabled, the image URL is used directly to retrieve and display the media content. It is also particularly useful when you need to display images or media files from external sources, such as content delivery network CDNs, or cloud storage services. Position determines where the media component is positioned on the card. Option as background image displays the media as the card background. Sizing determines how the media is sized within the media component. Option Cover, adjusts the sizing so the media fills the media display area. Image Description Text, describes the media and is used for tooltips and alterative text for images. Pagination offers users details on the displayed row count and their current position within the result set. By choosing the page option, the initial rows are shown according to the specified rows per page setting. If more rows exist, controls are included in the report footer, enabling users to navigate both forward and backward between different sets of rows. Create the following actions under the cards region. Actions are the driving force behind interactive cards regions. They transform static cards into dynamic elements empowering users to seamlessly navigate through our application. By adding buttons, links, and other actions to your cards, we can enhance the user experience and guide users towards the desired information or actions. Selecting the action type to button, this action allows you to create a dedicated button within the card. When a user clicks on this button, they will be automatically directed to the specified URL or page. Input the text that will appear on the button. In the case of an icon display type for the button, this text serves as the alternative text for the icon image. Choose the action to execute upon clicking the specified action type. Options include redirecting to a URL, with the ability to specify the target URL. When the hot property is turned on, the button is rendered using the hot template, which typically has a different appearance and behavior than the regular template. The purpose of the hot template is to make a button more visually appealing and interactive.
select a button display type to define the appearance of this button. Selecting icon type, displays an icon only. Choose the classes to apply to the icon for inclusion in the component. Now, let's give the segment a test run. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned with us, to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.